All right, everyone. So, it seems like there's a lot of people who don't actually know how to do this. And I can't believe that people don't know how to do this because it's so stupid easy. So, double clutching. We're going to show I'm going to show you the automatic way first. There are four different ways technically, but I'm only showing three because I'm not getting into automatic because yeah, I'm just showing you the way of automatic that I know that nobody cares about because it's not automatic. But this is a double clutch and automatic. All it is is tapping your gas. See that? I messed it up, but oh well. See how I keep shifting down? Okay, so, all you're doing is tapping your gas until you're in the red line or you're next to the red line. I'm not getting an automatic though, I don't care. You just tap your gas whenever your car shifts. It's just stupidly simple. Beeps. So, oops, hold on. I'm gonna go back to manual because it's real automatic. Custom controller. You can do this in any any controller setup as long as it's like button based. As long as it's on the controller. So the way that I know how to double clutch is the new way, which is it's not new, it's just the new way. So basically what you do is you you shift up and down. Do it. You know, there are people who get into it and be like, oh, well, there's a different shift point. Well, there, there are, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I start out in the third or fourth. Yeah. I don't shift like a crazy person. I don't shift crazy fast. I just, I keep shifting until the car is not accelerating. I just hit a three. So, that's. That's how you double clutch. So, the old way of doing it, and this is how the original members, of the original races of the game played it. And I'm not talking about the teams you guys know of, like uh, Legendary Riders and them guys. Um, I'm talking about Mob and all those teams that were affiliated with them. So, like uh, the really, really, to 2000, I think, they, I think it was like 2010 to like 2000. 2010 to like 2012 or some shit. Whenever I first started playing the game, this is the double clutch that I was. But I didn't like it because it wasn't, it wasn't fast. So this clutch basically is for people who live on Slipstreaming and NOS. So this is a top speed clutch. It'll help you maneuver once you get out into a straight stretch. But it'll keep you consistent for the You just shift. Now, I'm not giving this clutch enough uh, love for this video, so I'm gonna do it in a race because it it doesn't. I'm not giving it enough love for this because it, it looks slow. I know it does look slow, but it's not like that. I'm gonna do it on old Hollywood shortcuts, guys. Oops. Forgot I wasn't, uh, wasn't, forgot I was in online lobby. Okay, so we're gonna do it in Old Hollywood Shortcuts. Actually, no, no we're not. We're gonna do it on a race that has turns because, yeah, what? Stop it, no, stop. Yeah, well. Stop it. Stop it. So we're going to do this in a, in a race that is 
We're gonna do it on cross blocks. Turns. You need turns for this for this clutch. Basically, you just drive. You hit a straight stretch and you double clutch. Deeds. Stop. She keeps trying to grab the green screen. This behind. It doesn't work. I gotta do some. Deeds. Seriously. Start that again. So, I need to give this this clutch some justice because it, that's just the t doing it on the drag strip is a terrible way to explain. It. Now, if you have people you're racing against, I just pop the willy somehow. I don't know. That has never happened to me popping the willy there. I'm not, I'm not gonna use Nos for this. Okay, so imagine you're racing with other people when they're in front of you and you're catching that slip for you. This is much meant for um it's meant for consistency. They did it back in the day, and it was fast as hell. So doing it on the drag strip is not doing this race this much uh, justice. Races and you're you have people all around you and stuff. This is me to do it justice. You need you need other people to race with so you, so you can see the actual power of this bus. Because once you hit straightaways and stuff, you have, you have that speed build up. You know you can knock it off the line and grab a slipstream and take off. That's, that's basically how this clutch works. You know, they it was team based. It was a team based clutch. You had to you had to race with other people for it to be effective. But that's how you do that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the regular double clutch that we all know of on cross blocks. If you're someone who lives on slipstreaming and loves it, I suggest that clutch. I mean, it does work if you use it right. I think I just said traffic. Yeah. We're not racing with no traffic. This ain't Forza. care how pro pro you are I'm doing this on easy hard is stupid on this game no I may do another video later on how to use hydros I'm not sure this 
this is my double clutch. Not my triple clutch, this is my double clutch. Now I do it. As you can see, I'm flipping out and stuff now. Oh man. I wasn't paying attention. So basically, that's. Those are the three versions of the double clutch. It doesn't get any simpler than that. How I double clutch and how everyone else double clutches is a different way. There's four different kinds of clutches. You know what? Screw it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is the three different kinds of double clutching that you can do. That isn't getting into the other kinds of clutches. It's not getting into the red lining. That's all it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more, let me know. I am not doing one on triple clutching because there's no offense, but there's too many mods on this game for triple, for triple clutching. I like to be able to keep up to them. I think it's funny when everyone, thinks, everyone pops into their modded cars whenever I'm just chilling here in my legit car. Actually hold that thought. It is great modded. I'll put it out there. I don't care.